She is known for her versatile career in film, theater, and television, showcasing her talent as both an actress and a model. She is recognized for her captivating performances in classic movies, such as Jesse James and Stanley in Livingstone, where she starred alongside renowned actors. Her name is Nancy Kelly. In the world of entertainment, one name stands out, Nancy Kelly, a talented American actress who made her mark in film, theater, and television. From a young age, Kelly showed promise as a child actress and model, captivating audiences with her charm. She quickly became a familiar voice on CBS radio's The March of Time and made her debut in several films in the late 1920s. But it was in the late 1930s that Kelly truly rose to prominence, becoming a leading lady in her teens. She starred in over two dozen movies between 1938 and 1946, sharing the screen with legendary actors such as Tyrone Power and Spencer Tracy. One of her most notable roles was as the love interest of Tyrone Power in the classic film Jesse James, which also featured Henry Fonda. Another memorable performance came in Stanley in Livingstone, where she played opposite Spencer Tracy. However, Kelly's true success came when she turned her attention to the stage in the late 1940s. It was there that she found her greatest achievement in a character role as the distraught mother in The Bad Seed. Her portrayal was so powerful that she received a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play for the 1955 stage production. She also earned an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress for the 1956 film adaptation, marking her last film role. After her stage success, Kelly continued to make her mark in television until 1963. She then took on the challenging role of Martha in the original Broadway production of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, captivating audiences once again. Although she made only a handful of television appearances in the mid-1970s, her impact on the entertainment industry was undeniable. Nancy Kelly's journey from a child actress to a leading lady and ultimately a respected character actress is a testament to her talent and dedication. Her performances on stage and screen left a lasting impact and earned her numerous accolades. Whether it was her role in Jesse James or her Tony Award-winning performance in The Bad Seed, Kelly's legacy lives on, reminding us of the enduring power of her craft. Nancy Kelly, born into a theatrical family in Lowell, Massachusetts, had show business in her blood. Her mother, Nan Kelly, was a silent film actress who coached and managed Nancy's career. From a young age, Nancy was in the spotlight, appearing in 52 films on the East Coast by the time she was just 17. She wasn't alone in her pursuit of acting, her younger brother, Jack Kelly, also followed in their family's footsteps and became an actor, most notably known for his role in the television series Maverick. Despite her busy acting schedule, Nancy also prioritized her education. She attended several schools, including Bentley School for Girls, Immaculate Conception Academy, and St. Lawrence Academy. Even as a child, Nancy's image was so widely recognized that she became known as the most photographed child in America, thanks to her numerous appearances in advertisements. As she grew older, Nancy transitioned from child roles to leading lady status. In the 1930s and 40s, she starred in 27 movies, working alongside renowned directors and actors. She appeared in films such as Submarine Patrol, Frontier Marshal, Jesse James, and Tarzan's Desert Mystery. Nancy's talent extended beyond the silver screen, she also made a name for herself in the world of theater. In 1949, she starred in the Broadway play The Big Knife and later won a Tony Award for Best Actress in a play for her performance in The Bad Seed, which she also portrayed in the film adaptation. Nancy's acting prowess wasn't limited to film and theater, she also made notable appearances on television. She had leading roles in episodes of Thriller and The Alfred Hitchcock Hour, showcasing her versatility and range as an actress. Her talent was recognized by the television industry, and she was nominated for an Emmy Award for Best Single Performance by an Actress for her work on Studio One. Outside of her acting career, Nancy had her own political beliefs. She was a Republican and supported Dwight Eisenhower during the 1952 presidential election. Nancy Kelly's legacy as a talented and versatile actress lives on through her numerous film, theater, and television performances, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.